Hello there, guys. Commander Dante here. Uh, this Total is control. just a re uh, just, just a theatre game, destroyed. so I'm, I've just recorded this. But okay, it's a pretty good game, so hopefully it'll be fun to watch. Uh, for those of you who don't know how to turn off the legend uh, in uh, theatre mode, you simply press the left menu button. You know, there's three menu buttons in the middle of your controller. The one on the right goes to menu, and the one on the left, right a little bit uh, next to the left thumb uh, stick. That zone. one turns it off. Because I've noticed a lot of people, at least on PC, couldn't part, uh, seem to find out how to turn off the legends. Overshield obtained, and we're off. Zone lost. Now, today I'm going to be talking about uh, what I think of Halo Infinite, how it's been going. And my general idea of it. So the first thing to talk about today is that Halo Infinite is absolutely a good game. It is so fun to play. It's like Halo is back. It's genuinely speaking, the experience feels perfect to you. They have focused so much on making good gameplay. The guns feel fun to use. They're all unique. Uh, there's nostalgic feel because no longer is spring ridiculously fast. Although, rather than reducing the speed of spring, they've actually increased the speed of your character movement. So spring is basically there now. The other things they've added is, is that uh, there's no longer armor abilities. There's now equipment. So the equipment is laid around the map and actually serves a tactical purpose. So finding grenades, finding equipment, that now has a purpose now. Instead of Here having loadouts come. that don't Your really fit Halo, never have, you have all this equipment that's around the game, you have weapons that's around the game, and you can pick them up and just start using them. And that means that people have to know the map, they have to know where stuff is. Uh, if you press down on the D-pad, that shows you where nearby equipment is, for example. And that's a really useful for finding out where the best equipment is. Now to those of you uh, that want to hear about the customization, yeah, it is really bad. I mean, just to give you an example, the first the first armor you unlock in the game, uh, if you play free, you don't buy the battle pass, is at level 21. And before they changed it, back when they uh, you only got 50 XP from a single game, uh, it would basically, it, I, I spent hours, I spent two days basically playing non-stop, and I got to level Ground 9, so I didn't even get a single piece of armor after that. Started. Now, I did unlock the Uroi armor, which I'm playing with here during the event, but in my opinion that's a bit different, that ammo, it, was, it was pretty hard not to unlock it, you just had to do five uh, challenges. I mean, I got lucky with the challenges, to total but still. Now, in terms of the cost of buying individual stuff that doesn't come with the battle pass, it is ridiculously expensive. I mean, it costs 8 quid for the battle pass for a thousand credits. You spend 8 quid for a thousand credits uh, if you're with British pounds. It's, I think it's $10 if you're in America. And uh, if you want to buy the battle pass, it's a thousand credits. If you want to buy the battle pass and immediately get to a high level, it's 2,500 credits. So if you want to buy certain uh, packs of like customized oh, like you might get five customized like emblems, armor, uh, paint job. That will cost you a thousand credits as well, or more. And it is insanely expensive. Now this has been a bit worrying because although Halo is a free-to-play game, this is way beyond the pale. It is ridiculously disgusting, especially with how bad the system. Uh, for uh, you know, for the battle pass for leveling up has been so far. Now they've Let's improved it. The first six games of, of any day, you will get extra in, in, in XP. The first game is 300 XP. The second uh, and third game is 200 XP. Uh, the fourth game, fifth game, and sixth game are all about 100 XP. So that means it's a little bit easier to level up. You just play one game a day. For example, and the reason for that, I think, is that they want Halo Infinite to last. They want people to play consistently. They don't want you to just uh, continue playing it all day, uh, sometimes, and then stop playing it uh, for several weeks. 
because that basically means that people are playing at the same time and it's going to reduce the, the, the lifetime of the game and event because they have a 10 year life uh they have a 10 year goal for this game they've set out a lifespan of 10 years and they have plans to continue upgrading the game during those 10 years which i think is pretty amazing but obviously the Wait other issue is that this is, a, although this is a free mode, it's a bit questionable about whether you buy the, the campaign, whether you'll actually get anything to go towards it. The campaign is full price for an a AAA title, which is a bit concerning, but I suppose we'll have to wait until December the 8th to see. Now some of you might have followed Halo follow-up, uh, and he's uh, he's recently shown, well you might have heard of this from other people, but Halo follow-up recently found that they were talking about free for free was basically implying to us that not everyone in the company wants uh, wants it to be so scrupulous. They want to be stealing our money like this. Basically, they want to be basically squeezing us for every dime. But the managers, the people in charge, well, they've seen how the ratings are. Most of them are Halo players. Most people are Microsoft, but managers are. Most of them probably don't play Halo. They love the game like we do. And so all they're looking at is seeing is money, basically. So they're doing their, they're, they're basically seeing how far they can push. And free for free is basically implying to us if we make a big stink about it, and nobody, although people were grumpy about it when we heard about this, because we knew there were going to be uh, skins, uh, skins that would get free customization colours. We knew that uh, skins would cost like ten pounds, uh, eight pounds, etc. We knew it was going to be ridiculous years ago, but they're trying to because we haven't made a big stink about this. They think they can get away with it, and free for free is basically apply to us. If we say no, we aren't going to accept this. Then, well, maybe they will be improved. It might not be fixed perfectly. I doubt, and it is a free to play game, so this is kind of how it makes money in the first place. They're not going to make everything free, I'm probably ever, but they will definitely make it more fair. And for example, they'll make it. Hopefully they'll make it so that if you do well in games, get lots of kills, complete the objective, or win the game, you actually get more XP. Whereas at the moment, it doesn't matter how well you do the game. Uh, even though in other games like Halo Reach, Halo 4, you would get something for doing well in games, like getting medals, for example, or winning the game. As it is now, you get nothing, basically. So hopefully, hopefully that's true, in which case all you really have to do is just avoid spending money. I haven't played the bot mode at all yet, and in light of this, even though it's probably not making a big deal, I'm not going to play it at all. Because again, I mean, how else do I contribute this? I mean, I haven't spent any money again yet, and I didn't plan to. At least not until December the 8th, where we we'll see shield. if they make any changes. So hopefully they will impro improve this. Hopefully they'll fix this, and then we can actually start to Halo can actually start to become the giant it used to be. But this isn't really a thing unique to Halo. If some of you might have heard of B Dobbins for the win. Uh, he's a pretty famous YouTuber, he does really long videos, and he's been talking a lot how about games like Destiny were base have basically ruined the gaming industry because of how greedy they are, because of how greedy their managers have been, and how they've basically got on players to pay ridiculous amounts of money for the same game, and oftentimes no reward really. And the thing is, as long as we keep accepting stuff like this, as long as we keep accepting them completely exploiting our gamers like this then they're going to keep doing it it's only going to get worse and the, the thing is it wasn't that long ago that a big uh, AAA title like this didn't cost 60 quid the, when I was a kid they cost like 30 quid I mean now you have big uh, premium packs that cost ridiculous amounts of money like as much as you can even spend 100 quid on some games these days it's ridiculous and as much as microtransactions are necessary for the free-to-play model, especially for customization, Halo Infinite is not pay to win. There is these are all customizables. These are all cosmetics. Not a single one of these affects gameplay. If they're so ridiculous that it basically feels like you're being squeezed for every penny, that's just not going to make a fun game. Though. Because Halo has always been about the cosmetics. There's always been a sense of 
a sense of achievement in someone who uh, gained really cool looking armor from playing the game, doing well at the game for long periods of time. I mean, I'm rather proud of the armor I have in Halo Reach. Although it wasn't carried over to the MCC, I spent a long time getting good at the game. And this was after I lost my save data several times as well. Uh, which was rather annoying at the time. Um, well, I, I happened to t uh, one of my friends happened to turn off my Xbox before I got Xbox Live while it was saving, and I lost all of my save data. Uh, I had cried that night. But yeah, it's sort of just a way to show that you might think it doesn't matter that much, but in a way, being able to put, put something towards earning that armor you want instead of having to spend money on it, it means that you basically. Uh, for fuck's sake. People are starting to it talk. means you basically have a sort of way to show for yourself that you should continue playing. You just have to keep completing these objectives. And then you'll get something more. And that will feel, that just feels so, so, team is close to total control. so satisfying. Alright. I think we'll just leave it here then. Command to dance it out. To total Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Ah, oh, good. An escape vehicle. Ammo reserve depleting. Gosh, I love splash damage. Heads up. Ordnance drop inbound. Drop wall acquired. In a booth, they're gone. <laughs> You're beginning to make this look easy. You're beginning to make this look easy. Ammunition low. Zone captured. SL's very war, huh? Capture. Dynamo grenades obtained. Ah, the rapper arrives. Beautiful shot, Spartan. Spike grenades acquired. Capturing. Let's cower behind this turret. Repulsor acquired. A friendly's capping zone. Zone captured. Drop all acquired. The team is close to total control. Let's roll, shall we? We have eyes everywhere. Oh god, here we go! Your ammo reserves are depleting. Threat sensor obtained. The enemy is capturing a zone. The team is close to total control. Let's cower behind this turret! In the zone. Come on, Spartan. Your team is close to total control. There's no way that thing is safe. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh, crap. Oh, God. Let's grab some cover. You're on a roll, Spartan. Incredible performance, Spartan. Not much ammo left, Spartan. Ooh, they can't stop you. Oh God. Performance, Spartan. Your team is close to total control. Incredible performance, Spartan. Capture it. Let's get airborne. The enemy has seized the zone. Capturing. Incredible performance, Spartan. You know how to fly, right? Stop it! Deploy! Stone lost! Repulsor obtained! Ammunition low! 
you're beginning to make this look easy. Great! Frag, Spartan! Ah, the rabble arrives. Incredible performance, Spartan. Their entire squad is cannon fodder. We've seen them now. One of ours is capturing a zone. Spartan. Eyes up! Ordnance dropping from orbit! A gift from the heavens is inbound. Ammo reserves depleted. Eyes up! Ordnance dropping from orbit! Oh, would you look at that? Oh, God. Here we go! Enemy is capturing a zone! Beginning to make this look easy. Your team is close to total control. Incredible performance, Spartan. Hey, Kevin's for that sidearm. Oh, man! This is off for sure. Your team is close to total control. From the heavens is inbound. Your ammo reserves are depleted. Consider this posse assembled. Don't let up on that trigger, Spartan! Here they come! Pummel them, Spartan! Shields. Boosted. A friend is tapping his own. Round vehicle on the roof. Now we're talking. Not much ammo left, Spartan. This zone is as good as ours. Racking up the accolades. Threat sensor obtained. Captured. No guard! Nothing from all Active camo or quiet. Back in the zone. They're here. This is bad. Incredible performance, Spartan. Capturing. Ammo reserves depleting. Some targets! Ugh, a walking horror movie, Spartan! 